Since Wednesday, July 21, you must present a health pass, proof of vaccination or negative COVID-19 test, to go to the cinema, to the museum or to sports establishments. In short, in all places of leisure and culture gathering more than 50 people, against 1,000 previously. During this time, the number of contaminations explodes, due to the Delta variant, more contagious. With 18,000 contaminations in 24 hours, we have an increase in the circulation of the virus of the order of 150% over a week. We have never known this, the Minister of Health, Olivier Véran, warned on Tuesday. Where will it be required from July 21? The questions posed by its extension. While the government no longer hesitates to speak of a fourth wave, and that the outdoor mask is making a comeback in tourist areas where the epidemic is on the rise, Haute-Garonne, Chironte Maritime, etc., the Council of Defence meets on Wednesday around the President of the Republic. Announced nine days ago at the same time as the compulsory vaccination of caregivers, the expansion of the health pass had caused a rush on vaccination, and had the effect of a cold shower on the culture medium, which was struggling to recover from several months of closure due to a pandemic. Cinemas, museums, theatres and summer festivals are divided between the fear of a drop in attendance and the hope that the measure, which concerns, for the moment, adults, does not discourage spectators too much. Almost half of the 108 theatres of the festival have a capacity of more than 50 seats. Some are ready because they are equipped with QR code readers. But those who have not organised have asked to lower their gauge to 50 places, a relaxation which was granted to them by the prefect on Tuesday but which will be subject to checks. The bill extending the health pass began its way through Parliament on Tuesday, before possible adoption at the weekend. It plans to extend this measure to cafes, restaurants and trains from the beginning of August. The Prime Minister, Jean Castex, is to speak at TF1, 1pm, when he leaves the Defence Council.